29 points tonight and we're kind of going in the pick and roll. What, what was it that you were seeing out there that got you the, the offensive chances you did? I mean, I think I just went with the flow of the game and uh, my teammates, Joe, Mike, everybody really did a great job looking for me. And uh, I just tried to dominate, be patient. And, uh, you know, they, they weren't really helping off the, of the shooter. So it was on me tonight to, you know, to, to punish them at the rim. John Kuhn, AP. Rudy, you look at a, your partnership with, with Joe Ingles on the court. He Seven of his eight assists came on your baskets. What has what kind of built that chemistry and, and that synergy between you two over the years to where he, he can just be so effective on a night like this? I mean, it's just for me, it's just amazing playing with Joe. Uh, you know, and I think for everybody else, you know, Joe is always looking for others before he looks for himself. And, uh, you know, there's not many players in the league that you have to remind them to shoot the ball. And I just keep telling Joe every single time, just look for you first and, and then look for, look for your teammates. So, you know, it's, uh, it's just great. He's, he's a very smart player and, uh, you know, he's always able to put up me and put other guys in a, in a great position to score. And I believe that, you know, when, uh, when he's aggressive too, uh, you know, it's really hard to guard because you know that he's a, he's a great passer. Kristen Kenny, Jazz TV. Rudy, I know you guys are always working hard, but what's starting to come easier during this time? There's nothing easy. You know, every single night uh, is a different challenge. I think the difference for us now is that we embrace those challenges. You know, we we don't take any team uh, uh, lightly. You know, we know that, uh, you know, if we focus on, on us and do what we do, uh, you know, we, we're going to be in a great position to win every single game against anyone in this league. So, you know, we know that it starts defensively. And, uh, you know, and uh, and even when we don't make shots, you know, we, we feed off our defense and we know that we, we're going to be in a position to, to be a great team. Sarah Todd, does Deseret News. One of the reasons that, you know, you guys went to get Fave back in the offseason was to make sure that that second unit had the same defensive intensity as when you're in there can do the same thing. So how much confidence does it give you guys on a night like tonight without Don, without Fave, that that second unit really kept it together? I mean, we have a, we have a lot of guys that can play basketball. And uh, obviously having Fave uh, back in the team was is huge. And uh, not just for the season, but especially for the playoffs, you know, when we know that uh, every single minute on the court matters. And, you know, we we believe in every single every single guy in this locker room. You know, we you know there's a lot of guys that should get more minutes, but the minutes are not there, but they deserve, they will, they will get minutes anywhere else. And, uh, you know, everyone is embracing the, you know, doing all the little things to, to help this team be in a, a great team. And on nights like tonight, when, you know, we're missing some guys, some of these guys like Mie, George, uh, even Juwan, you know, uh, have an opportunity to come in and, uh, and have a great impact. And that's what they did tonight. Eric Walden, Salt Lake Tribune. Rudy, Joe just told us that kind of his biggest takeaway from this 10 game winning streak is that it's a group of guys without egos, just everyone kind of stepping up where they need to and, and kind of doing what they need to. What's been your biggest takeaway from this 10 game winning streak? I mean, for us, uh, the number one thing is that when we think about, when we think defensive minded, uh, we are successful. You know, when we start thinking about offense uh, too much, you know, uh, we tend to forget about the defense and, and then things don't get, everything goes not as good. So it's uh, number one, the defense. And number two, uh, the same thing that Joe said, you know, I, I really, that's the, probably the first time since I've been here that I see that much focus from every single one in this locker room. Uh, I really feel like we're playing for, you know, something bigger and, you know, and that we're on a mission. And, you know, it's, uh, it's on us, uh, the leaders, to make sure that uh, we, we lead the charge, you know, and uh, we make sure that everyone is, uh, is, stays locked in, you know, because we're going to need every single one of, of the guys. And, uh, you know, we know that it's a long season and uh, we're going to keep getting better. 
Tim McMahon, ESPN. Hey, Rudy. Uh, obviously, it is early, but when you see that you guys have the best record in the league right now, what do you think? I mean, it's exciting. Obviously, it's exciting, but it's uh, it's really early in the season, and we know that uh, our goal is uh, obviously to to be one of the best teams in the, in, in the league, but uh, is to be ready for the playoffs. And uh, you know, obviously, we want to be in a position when we're top two team in the West, so we can uh, at the end of the season be in a great position to have a. Uh, and to have home, home court advantage, you know. So it's uh, for us. It's really keep getting better, you know. Keep getting better as a team, and uh, go out there every single night to to play our best basketball and and to win. Last question, Niall Campbell, UtahJazz.com. Hey, Rudy. Um, you often say on your Instagram post, "On to the next one," and having that experience. Uh, playing the same team back to back with the Pelicans last week, is the approach any different coming? into this game on Friday? I mean, it's always different. You know, when you when you get beat uh, by a team, uh, you always come out the next game uh, with a revenge. And uh, that's what happened with the Pelicans. you know, when they came out and they punched us in the face in the, in the first quarter. And uh, I believe that Dada is going to try to do the same. Though it's it's really on, uh, on us uh, to just keep getting better, you know, keep taking care of ourselves and, uh, and uh, you know, keep adjusting to whatever they're going to try to do. But, uh, you know, we're going to keep doing what we do and, uh, you know, and uh, taking one game at a time because it's, at the end of the day, you know, it's a long season and uh, we know that, uh, you know, at the playoff, it was going to matter. All right, that's it. Thanks, Rudy. Thank you.